even be saying it too late. Let, let, let's let's start again. We've got two people watching now. I started yeah, playing yeah. the end credits, right? <sighs> so I apologise. <laughs> and Dom's putting his jumper on, and actually Ian's in the wrong place. That's not Ian's fault. That's because Dom had a problem with his camera. So, like, if anybody is watching this now live, pretend nothing's happened yet. Hey, 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 That's an interesting uh, picture you picked yeah. me to make me look like I'm wearing a wig. I don't know how you <laughs> managed that. Well, we're gonna I love the fact you actually put some effort in. You actually made my head less boxy now. Less but, boxy. I mean, you gave me a neck. You? I've missed my <laughs> neck. Oh, well, <laughs> I've missed you. Off it. Yes, we've no, we've all missed everybody. I tell you what, this is the wow. season. This is the season to be jolly. No, this is the year of hope and 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 goodness and love to everybody. So I'm going to give you lots of good and love. Yeah, fuck off. Right. So I'm going <laughs> to give love. There I go. Well, that last. I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to love to everybody. Right. I I'm Steve. I'm Steve Hen. This Little is. Raping. I, I, I am not. Uh, I'm not either. either. He's not either. No, no, no. Steve Penn apart from apart from. Oh, this arsehole. Now listen, right? Oh, I'm gonna have to do it then. Oh, oh many of you now. That that one there is the magical oh, Doctor Who. Elliot Simpson. Oh, <laughs> Ian, the comedian. Brackets or whatever. <laughs> I can't do that. Sorry, that was it. Wasn't meant to be. And there's Don Mackey there, who 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 probably Who's is teaching straight? people's children. Also, let's say hello to Heather. Hello, Heather. Oh, hello. She's oh, Heather. Heather. Heather is one of those people. Fantastic. One and of those. She, one, that's good to know. And I'm afraid stuff definitely happened. And <laughs> on the oh the automatic so oh yes of course oh, I'm intrigued Facebook. What we're saying Facebook now. Come on. Facebook does automatic. Um, Subtitles, Subtitles on these videos, yeah. Oh, I'm how logging into that, that to see how it deals with me. It will be. <laughs> it'll, come, it'll make you come across as oh. furious, Ian. Oh, hey! Yeah, the the other true test will be making Dom doing an accent, and seeing if we can pick it up. <laughs> <laughs> Every time I talk, it just says shit in Scottish. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Hey, I've missed you all. I'm going to be honest with you. It's been, you oh. know, life's getting better, uh, but I've missed you all. And, and I had a lot of trouble with last week with my headphones, but I've just changed computers. Pardon? So, uh, I see. <laughs> what? What? Oh, it's, huh? that's, a, that's a joke that I would do. Yeah. And, you have, and you're not even a dad. I hope not. Yeah, God help me. <laughs> right. Okay, so we, well, let's get and on let to Doctor Who, because that's, that's, that's why people that's are here. And if anybody... Oh look! Oh, he I don't know who you are, Heather, but I, 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 you're, oh. also, you're I, I think you're wonderful. She could watch on Twitch if. Oh, I like people who who would. You do what you like, Heather. Please. Heather is a Heather is a, friend, if, it's a very good friend of mine. That it, obvious it, that it, is. That has to be obvious, Elliot. You only have nice friends. I, oh, well, well, that can't be true. Friends well, with you. My friends who's watching, they're giving you a massive middle finger now, <laughs> you little <laughs> bastard. I've never, I've never said no to one of those, Dom. Now. <laughs> Where? Oh, <laughs> right. Let's uh, no. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> now, no. If if any of Dom's friends are watching, then 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 of course you'll Turn be off. nice. Uh, <laughs> Can imagine any people watch this though. I know they've got. <laughs> my, what else is there to do? You can't go anywhere. Well, you're not meant exactly. to. Exactly. You can eat. Right. 
Jig. There's jigsaws. Want. You can always you do can a watch jigsaw. the magic of Doctor Who. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! Now listen, listen. It's the master. You can only tolerate the magic of Doctor Who. It's not really a watching experience. <laughs> It's a, it's a I don't know. I don't know what. Can anyone explain to what that means in 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 the in the modern Being people right back, language? He's going to away to go on to Twitch. He's nipping off for a Twitch. That means be right back. Yeah. I didn't BRB, know what br. Yeah. I didn't oh. know what brb. I didn't know what brb nipping was. That was all. I'm I just thought that was some I sort of brb nipping. If it was just brb nipping, I'd be worried. Would, oh, that sounds like sounds like a line from a Carry On movie. It does sounds like a move from a Carry On movie. To be quite honest. Be right back, I'm yes. nipping. Oh, yes. <laughs> anyway. I'll tell you what, we'll have a tiffin. Oh, Georgie oh. McKenna oh. is also one of Elliot's friends. Did Sorry, you, Dom. Did, she, 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 <laughs> yeah, oh. That's 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 ever. I was going to say... Bebop that's the... Lizard Wizard. Try to say that five times fast. Bebop Lizard no. Wizard. Bebop Lizard Wizard. Bebop Lizard Wizard. Bebop Lizard Wizard. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Can you say Irish wristwatch very fast? Irish, Irish wristwatch. wristwatch. Irish very wristwatch. Fast. Can you say toy boat five times fast? Can you say 11 ben elephant elephants? Let's You're watching that. the magic of Doctor Who. <laughs> Are we? Because this ain't Doctor yes, Who no, anymore. Not, no, no, no. right. Let's do right. It's the Master. I'm going to start with the the early one of the early incarnations. Yeah, uh, and I've, I've I've put I've put, I've put I've put the Masters in order. So we're going from the oldest to the youngest. Is that right? You can just tell so them you're how much time Stephen has in his hands. Masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> what? I wasn't <laughs> masturbating. What? Anyway, this one is, is from the Sea Devils. destroying the ships. You told me it was enemy agents. Why didn't you tell me the truth? If I had, would you believe me? There's only one thing for it. We'll have to go through the minefield. Sorry, how do they do that without laughing? <laughs> what, I, he's jumping over the barbed wire? He jumped on that yeah. barbed wire. Just like, yeah. Yeah, I, 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 I know he's doing that just like to, to protect Joe, but it's yeah. really like John Poe just giving up acting. It's what's oh, not going to be up anymore. Hey. <laughs> he actually had his third heart attack. <laughs> he just fell back. He slid to the banana field. <laughs> Oh, I think I think we've we've we're losing Ian's connection very slowly. We we're just getting you. Um, I lost my connection. I always loved the go. Yeah, that was it. I, John, I do all yeah. my own stunts. Yeah, 
Yes. <laughs> For those of you watching north of the border, Brilliant. that was Sorry. that was. <laughs> I'm a black man. No, yeah, you're, no so. you're just. I mean, your your picture is is judgery, and your voice is coming through, but not a hundred percent. Your voice is probably seventy eight percent, I'd say. But yeah. your picture. So I like a standard voice in general. <laughs> yeah, careful. Careful, because right. Hey, give me a second. Yeah. Uh, 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 keep keep trying in, and we'll <laughs> we'll keep. Sound going. like a sea devil running for a mile. How's that? How's that? Yar? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just I loved I loved the early hoot for the the kind of Shakespearean delivery. They always give every line. They're like, "So we will definitely have to do this." Everything was like that. They're all very very English. Um, but I, what was with the fart noise at the start? I thought it was one of my jokes. <laughs> you know, like, Ten <laughs> seconds in, it was just a big. Like, oh yeah, I, 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 like, yeah. That's what happens when you see a minefield. Of course, you're gonna shit yourself. Oh yeah, but uh, I mean, uh, but both from the scene. This is another. It's a very time, early Doctor gentlemen. Who theme. It's a very early Doctor Who theme that that is is always a Doctor Who conundrum. It's basically Doctor. I won't use a gun, but I'll definitely blow a motherfucker up. That's just like every time they go. Oh no, no, I can't use a gun. Minefield, no fucking problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll just put these two connectors together and blow the. Sh the, what a free shit up, that, is. that is good. Uh, minefields don't kill people. No, 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 no. People don't kill people. Minefields do. But minefield does help. Use a gun. Yeah. <laughs> There's lots of problems. We're, we're um, still I, having I, a lot of problems with you, Ian. Unfortunately. Ah, well, I think but, that was before. That was before. <laughs> <laughs> right, no, but uh, he makes a good I'm point. Go on. I'm going to leave and come back. Okay. In, okay? He's gonna... Okay. okay, leave. No, don't do it ah, until I say well, go. Now go. Well, right, well, okay. well, 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 why is it wait? Both you and Dom and Steve may be unaware of this, but in the past week, Ian has, has actually made a TikTok account, and the only video he's made is it's been a fart joke. Yeah, <laughs> he followed me on TikTok. I followed you on TikTok, and you never followed me back, you bastard. Oh, sorry. No, oh, uh, what, what's your name on TikTok? I want to share it with all the viewers. <laughs> All right, let's not. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not. We're comedians. Uh, I, I, famously I, I want. I want to talk to your friend Heather. No terror of the autumn. No terror oh. of the autumn. I want it. I. Do you know? I would have put that, but I really do like a sea devil with a with a CD in his hand. That and and for me, when I saw that sea devil come out of the out of the sea the first time, he was holding. It was his really breath. scary. He was holding oh, yeah, his chest. But 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 now I look at that and all I can think about is oh dear. The back, that's not I'm good in the CD player. Sorry, Ian I missed that. He was... looks like he's about to deliver the votes from Moldova for Eurovision. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> Ian, I don't know what. I... Great evening, Romania. Do the point. <laughs> oh, I don't know what to all say. Japanese I'm so sorry. Oh, he looks like he's about to be in a Japanese game show. <laughs> oh, Ian, Ian, I don't you know what's going on. Right, I'm going to go. I'll give Ian. I'm going to play another clip so then we can see if we, this will help. Who chose the deadly assassin? That was Elliot, wasn't he? Because was I put two. I put you two together, which is I. I wanted to choose this clip as well, Elliot. Well, this 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 incarnation of of the master because I thought it was a a, a a good way of getting around it. Ian, you can keep trying. It sounds like a Cyberman who's run for a minefield that Pertwee blew up. <laughs> anyway, we're going on to another master, the deadly assassin. You delay an execution to pull the wings off a fly. This time, Doctor, the execution will not be delayed. Castellan! I assure you, I am not nearly so infirm as I look. Now you! Bring me the sash of Rassilon. Oh, yes, Doctor. Why else do you think I feigned death? When God fails me, it was necessary to use more direct means. But the sash is wasted on our dead friend, don't you think so? Bring it to me. 
Don't do it, Engin. A stupid remark, Doctor. Resistance is futile now. Don't give him the sash, Engin. I have suffered long enough from your stupid, stubborn interference in my designs. Now we are coming to the end of our conflict, Doctor. Why have you brought me here? As a scapegoat for the killing of the President. Who else but you, Doctor? So despicably good. So insufferably compassionate. I wanted you to die in ignominious shame and disgrace. <laughs> Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's back. He's he's back. I think that's well, working. Oh, that. me now. <laughs> I can't hear you. Back. Oh, that's oh. all right, though. We can hear you. We can hear you. Uh, let's see. I can do something with his mic settings. No. We can hear you. No, we can't hear him now at all. Wow. It was doing so well. Right. Uh... <laughs> and I don't know what this means. Christmas. Can you guys hear me? Oh yes, Chris. Yes, we can. Oh, the old crispy. Yes, it's a, it's a, it's a shame. That's the uh, only time Peter Pratt ever played the role. He's never come back for any of the audio adventures or any, or anything, any media. It's a shame. So, I don't want any sound. Sorry, I'm going to dive back out again because I'm getting no sound. I mean, hide in the middle oh, okay. so I can be in the car. I don't I even mean, know. I mean, I mean, I mean, I listen to me talk. I'd say the same thing, Ian. This is oh. this is you to get out. <laughs> um, oh man. Come but on, I, then, Elliot. Yeah. Let's. Oh, so I just want to appreciate Peter Pratt's performance because, like, it's the only time he did it. But like, even though his mask is, you know, really constricting, he can't move like anything at all. You know, even though it's completely stoic face, he still kind of feel the raw kind of rage and the sort of just uh, anger within him. And it, it, it it's terrifying. Cool. Yeah, he worked really well. He did a really good performance. And the shame, it's a shame he didn't, he didn't come back. I don't know. I don't know why they replaced it with um. Oh, who was it? Who took over in the second time. We had Decay Master. I forgot who it was now. Jeffrey Beavers. How was it? Yeah. And he was great as well. But like, I don't know why Peter. Yeah. Put, you can get Peter Pratt back. I think he didn't enjoy it. I think he, because he's a very Shakespearean actor, Peter Pratt, he really didn't enjoy the makeup of the fact he couldn't really perform because he had that literal mask. Oh, I guess so. But, yeah, but, but like, literally, appears in, um, I was a uh, keeper of charcoal. He literally he, he only appears in like one scene in a keeper of charcoal. I'm sure he could have handled that, but oh well. Um, but no, yeah, I, um, um, see, is, is this is why, you know, I, I, I think that whole timeless child thing in the recent series, it would work so much better if it was the master. Because this, like, things like this make more perfect mm. sense. Why is he able to always stay immortal and have a decaying body whenever timeless would just die? It makes perfect sense if he was a timeless child. So why, why didn't they just do that? <laughs> no, no, there's a reason why it is because it is. Because he is the timeless child. Oh, they're in the, they're in the red corner. He is they? the timeless child. Whoa. I can hear you guys. Can you Yay. hear me? Yay! Yay! Can, can you hear Ian? I can't. I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't well, I think... That's the only way I could hear the guy. I can hear Dom and I can hear Elliot now. That's oh, right. that, that joke. Oh, it was that dad joke. joke. I'm, I'm back again. I can only hear my thoughts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey. So. This one's broken. Uh, I like, I like that. Hey, no, but I, so I, I, I do. Yeah, I think it's, he was a great, a great, an idea for the master as well. It was like uh, crispy was. Oh, yeah. Bye, Ian. <laughs> <laughs> he joins. It works. I fuck it up. Yeah, there's so much more experimentation and so much more fun you can do with the master. Because obviously, I think as, as you know, as the reactions yeah. to like. John Hurt and Joe Martin the show and people are quite passionate about the the consistency and the canonicity of the numbered Doctor. So you have to be very careful what you do with the main character. But the Master, because we have no idea which Master we first saw and what order or number how many there are. You can do whatever the fuck you want with the Master. That's why he's been a fucking snake or a ghost or a skeleton or fucking whatever. And I think it's why it's uh, Jack- for experimentation. I agree, a hundred and ten percent. Right, Ian, do you want to say anything? Um, well, since I'm kind of coming into this a little. Uh, no, that's good. I'm, You're working. That's it. No, I don't mean you don't. I just wanted to make sure you were you were oh, with yeah, us I'm in here. the right. Yeah, uh, yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, I'm just. So, it's probably the subtitles. This is what's happening because Facebook was doing the subtitles to a Scottish man. It's just went fuck it. Yeah, I'm having no. I'm not playing. Uh, right, connect to Facebook. I mean, I mean, if, if, if exactly. want to, I could, I, could, I could technically legally be Scottish now because I've been here three years. You do you know why? Mm. Here's the thing about Scottishness. If you want to be Scottish, see if you love Scotland. Everyone in Scotland go, fair enough. 
It's that fucking easy. No one gives a shit. They literally, we don't think that way about the night. You're not one of us. You don't have a passport that says this. If you come up, you love Scotland. You want to stay here, fine. Even if you leave and want to call yourself Scottish, people will just go, fair enough. It's that I'm going to call place. myself Scottish because you I can. went to the Edinburgh Friends twice. Yep. Wear a kilt, fucking eat haggis, have a whiskey now and again, cry when Braveheart's on. You don't even have to like it, you just have to put the pretense I heard up. you, and I thought you said brave fart. <laughs> I can't, I, 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 upset. It, I don't think Ian would do anything about farting. I think Ian is no, far, 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 far above that. Above. that that's that's and I don't care. Okay. I only read one every it's week. In a, immature. Why would Ian do something so immature? I, I don't know. It's my favourite cheese, though. Listen. <laughs> We've had Roger Delgado, we had Peter Pratt, Jeffrey Beavers. Now we're going on to somebody's A. We didn't have Anthony. Jeffrey Beavers. We had. We talked, a, we talked about him, Don. Now, Pay Anthony. attention. Now, yes. The, you, who called him Anthony Ain Ainley? I, 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 I think it's the first song we ever did. I think I did that. It's because he helped me his tissue compression eliminators at Delta. How you you fucking, you can see it behind Steve. This, this gun is literally shaped for dildo. It's holding a dildo. Uh, yeah, well... Imagine that. Imagine you go home you see what How does that work? It's very they presumptuous of you there. You will obey me. <laughs> they, they did model kind of, like, the new Doctor Who is on in a little bit of a rampant rabbit. It's got that look. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I'm not a fan of the screwdriver design at all. No, the, the curve... Was that, a Beatrix, was, that a Beatrix, was that a Beatrix Potter character? It is, yes. It is, yeah. That's all right, then. That's all right, because I am very innocent. Well, you know, sorry, Steve. Um, oh, oh, I, I, I should say before you play the next clip, uh, this is actually is quite an obscure clip. Is that not, it's not actually from any episode? This next clip. That's that's definitely. Oh, it, is it? Is it from the three? It's from the three D one. It, oh, should I? No, it's from the game. It's it's it, it's, 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 from, it's, from, from, it's from which I think so. I've played this game. It's amazing. Yeah, br 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 I wanted to port it. Br bring it. Bring do a remake. That's what I want. Yep. Have you have you played? To begin, I summon the seven complete incarnations of the one known as the Doctor, a Time Lord who more than any other has sought to frustrate my destiny. The Doctor's seven past incarnations shall be summoned hither where they shall be my prisoners to be dealt with as I see fit. I shall encapsulate the Doctor's psyche within the depths of the determinant, the domain I have created through your conquered will. And I shall systematically eradicate all past and any futures of the one who has sought to undermine my supremacy. Oh, my disciples. Verem ue evanal. Bring forth the Doctor. <laughs> ah, the most recent. One so busy setting plans and traps that he fails to see those set for him. Oh, look, the blustering one in the stupid coat. How he struts and gloats. Wait, there's the nice one. Such charm, such innocence, such naivety, such a fool. The Bohemian, the Wanderer. One so keen to abandon his roots that he abandoned his sense. Now, there was a worthy foe. Such cunning, such ingenuity. All wasted through that stubborn streak of goodness. The comedian, but a capable comedian too. Not quite the clown he looks, this one. And there's the first. Such wisdom, such intellect. But oh, what a bore the fellow was. What? A hero, a challenger? Someone to defend your miserable existence, Doctor? Something you've cobbled up yourself by the look of it? Well, good luck, Grok. You'll definitely need it. <laughs> yeah! I like that. But he's yeah, not the know, first, I'm... isn't he? Do you know what? I honestly the think it's going to, the way this is going to end up being is the Master is just a future incarnation of the Doctor who comes back to fuck with himself. 
That's, you know what I mean? The whole, because they're just adding so many regenerations. And because it's time travel and it doesn't matter, you can rewrite the shit out of it. It's just going to end up being that the master is just, the, is, is they're both the, the endless child. Because, and it, the master is just the future incarnation of the doctor who has had enough because he's lived so fucking long. He hates everything and he's just trying to fuck with it. Ah, 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 so you're saying the master, will become, the doctor becomes the master, it goes back in time to fuck for, himse- fuck for himself. Now that is masturbation. Whee! That's why he's called doctor. master. <laughs> he but just I don't even. Peter from the end of it. <laughs> But he does he does bait people. But I want to I want to bring Elliot's friend in. Sorry, Dom, again. Um, no, oh, not that one. Sorry, this bit. No, I, I to- totally agree. Totally agree. Uh, um, that that was really ace bit of acting, and I loved it. Uh, it is also available on the special features of the Survival Special Edition DVD. Have you got Have that? Have you guys ever played Destiny of the Doctor? Uh, I, I, I've, I've not played it, but I watched a, a play through, and it felt like I was playing it. It's first person. so good. Is it a I, PC I game? It. Yeah, it's a PC game. Yeah, I have got it on CD somewhere. Oh, you know, when he did stand oh up God. and start to do the whole singing thing, I genuinely thought the way he was going to sing was "Show Me the Way to Go Home," because it starts with the same beats. It really does. He's like, "Sure," and I'm like, "Oh, show me the way to go home." I thought he was chanting. I thought he was summoning a Zal again. Uh, I, 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 I love how for each doctor he, he was trying to roast all of them, but it came to the Pertwee. He's like, "Oh, fair enough. He was actually pretty for fucking good." Yeah, he was actually him. all right. Like, yeah. Say bad thing about him. Like, I fucking love Pertwee. Yeah, especially yeah. in that advert. <sighs> oh, <yeah>. <laughs> 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 Why do you think he loves Pertwee so much? Mm. They uh, went drinking like... together after <laughs> it. That's why they were just sitting in a bar, going, "Whoa, look at her. She's a bit of all right." <laughs> oh, that's very. That's very nineteen. 19- 90s of you. Yeah, you know, I preferred it when you went down. Anyway, we have done with the we've done with the classic series. There, we're going oh, now. Really? With, with, did, did no one choose Eric Roberts? I I was thought I thought Ian was going to do that because I know Ian loves a, a bit of Julia's less successful uncle? Ethan brother. Brother, he's only ever good and be- he's only ever good and best to the best. Because he overacts to shit in both the two he's in, which well, is yeah, hilarious. Just for the occasion. Yeah. But... I was dressed for the occasion. The occasion. The occasion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So we we could we could uh, let's the line that makes me laugh uh, out that more than anything else is <laughs> the Asian you didn't like child. Her bad shit. Sorry. <laughs> right. Is it? Are we are we saying nice things about Eric Robert? Face. You were uh, pouting like a pug on heat. Oh, can I say That's to you? That's not an expression. Yes, you can, Elliot. Talk to me, talk to me I, I, Elliot. I'll listen I've, to you. I've, I've, I've got an interesting fact about Eric Roberts. I don't even remember this, but in the Paul McGann movie, there's bits where like uh, they're in the in the ambulance together, and uh, the Doctor's talking about like a previous companion, and she, and then Grace is like, "Oh, does she kiss? Does she, does she kiss as good as me?" And then uh, the master goes like, "Kiss as well as you." Um, apparently, that that bit was completely ad lib. That wasn't the script. Apparently, Eric Roberts is really, really like, really, really cares about people's grammar, and he go out of his way to correct people's grammar, and that's just something he does. Oh. Yes, I mean, come on, it, could he be more of a cunt? <laughs> <laughs> my my sister is is looking after a lot of people's grammars at the moment in her care home. Now let's go then to the. <laughs> Dom, please be with us. Right, let's go then. Oh, no. Yeah, I've got um, this the wrong way around. I think I've got this the wrong way around. I'm not sure. Oh. Martha, this watch is me. I'm going to become human. Always running out on me. Can I have a look at that? No, it's it's only an old relic. <laughs> like me. Where did you get it? Hmm? I was found with it. What do you mean? An orphan in the storm. I was a naked child found on the coast of the Silver Devastation. Abandoned with only this. 
Have you ever opened it? Why would I? It's broken. How do you know it's broken if you've never opened it? It's stuck. It's old. It's not meant to be. I don't know. Does it matter? No. It's... it's nothing. It's... Listen, everything's fine up here. I'm gonna see if the doctor needs me. You escaped the time where that's a perfect place to hide. The end of the universe. Think what the face of Bo said. His dying words. He said... You... are... not... alone. Where do we start? If you're talking do- master scenes, come on. This is why I didn't go with Eric Roberts' one, because I was like, you know what? If you're going to do it, you might as well do it with a master regeneration and a two brilliant masters. But I genuinely see I was sad for this because I thought Jacob was so underused because he's such a great mm. actor. And even yeah, yeah. though he's so small on the screen, time, he's so nasty and evil through it. Mm. Like what he does to Chad and Doe, or whatever her name was, Chanfro. Yeah, Chanfro. just so, so mean. Chanfro, though. Yeah, just so mean to her. Just totally under, just undermines her self-confidence, like totally gets in her head and then fries her alive, essentially. Yeah. Just, just nasty. And then that whole sim scene after it where he's, he's just called me by my name to the doctor, which came became a little bit of a theme. A little bit sadomasochistic. It was a bit call me master. Get on. There was a lot of undertones of that because he does genuinely get off when Doctor says his name. He's like, so yeah. <sighs> so there's a whole yeah, bunch Matt of that. Smith had that same reaction when Clara said his name in the Bells of Saint John. You just remember when he goes, "Say it again." At the door. Yeah, I know that was a bit. Of, yeah, no, but he's a bit more of a clown about it. He hasn't kind of yeah. just gone, "Say it again." Say it again. Get off hearing his name. Oh, it. But. Was that the only regeneration on screen? Oh, the master. Oh, the master. Um, I mean, I mean, yes, that was. I mean, yeah, I think that's what it was. I mean, I mean, unless you want to count, you know, uh, no, no, because Jeffrey Beaver's, Beaver's, Jeffrey Beaver's turned into Amy. Right, okay. and, then, yeah. and the snake thing technically went into Eric Roberts. So he went from snake body to Eric Roberts. That's <laughs> not regeneration, though. He was just yeah, that. genuinely oh, that, that wasn't a regeneration because he was literally just taking over the body. Because he'd wasted all his life, apparently. No, no, just he did waste his life. life. He was a timeless child. Do you know, can <laughs> I just? I just need to. I really am right because, like, I, I, uh, 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 Elliot. Well, try yeah. again, Steve. Hello. Try I again. know. I really don't. I really don't. Right. Um, our friend who's on Twitter now. Your friend. I've forgotten her first name now because it's. We're on dead. Twitter. Bib. B- oh, yeah. Twitch. Bib Buff right. with Wizard. Uh, 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 Heather. Right. Or Heather. 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 I'm talking to you now, Heather. Heather, right? She's put something now. I think she's in love with Dom. I don't know oh, what's going oh, on. Oh, 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 oh Heather, um, Heather, Heather. This is uh, meant to be. Uh, oh, say, <laughs> say, um, Heather, Thank you, <laughs> Bee Bluff Lizard Wizard. I was say, um... We have got allies. <laughs> right. Now we've mentioned Clara. Oh, no. no, no, Tom, <laughs> Elliot, I think <laughs> Elliot needs <laughs> to clarify. Heather has they them pronouns. So, 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 you know. Heather, what? Pardon? Heather has they them pronouns. Okay. They. Thank you, oh, Heather. Oh, sorry, Heather. That's why you did. They you did, did the right thing. They did the right thing because it's now time to address the elephant in the room. Oh. Hi, Stephen. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually quite nice. So, um, <laughs> yeah, no, Heather. They're right because, like, oh no, I, I like, I like Heather. I, no, I, I like Clara. Heather, I'm sorry, and and Ian probably likes Clara. It's okay. Tom it's okay. Steve really to have the wrong doesn't. decision. 
Uh, okay, yeah, I don't no. mind Clara. I don't mind Clara when, uh, b- apart from season nine. Season nine can just fuck off. Oh, is it, is it, that's the I enjoy the most because I think I think I feel like she they had a character by that point. Like in series seven, I didn't like it. She felt like I felt like it really mattered in which writer she had because she just became whatever the writer needed her to be for that particular story, and her personality changes so drastically from story to story. Yes. The entire point of a sidekick in any story. But but but, 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 like, but, but, but certain companions like stories revolve around them and the personalities. And certain stories only suit certain companions, and I think it's, it, it works better that way. If you have any, if it was stories that any old companion could fit in it, then I, I don't think you turn your phone off to the cast. No, you're, you're right. I know, but, uh, but they're, they're all the kind of doc, Doctor Watson character. That's the point of the the companion to to be the person they explain their genius to, so the the person watching can understand what they're doing. Otherwise, it'd be very dull. Ah, uh, what about Zoe? Because Zoe was also a genius, and she smiled to the Doctor, and she was very, very... She was a smug no, yeah. But then it became a point of them explaining to one another why both of them were clever. Well, which, is why, which is why they wrote her the fuck out. Oh. <laughs> <'Cause> oh. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> and oh, and also the guy, the the last guy, the old guy that was in it, he's very clever because he asks lots of people questions on that program on on ITV. Yes, very clever. Yes. I mean, I mean, I'm not yeah. sure the to to read things off a card really is a signifier of intelligence, do you? Yeah, well, well, it's what I do. Oh, oh, Ian, in all fairness, you could say the same thing that Alexander Armstrong is is quite a clever person, be the host and pointless. Yeah, he's stupid enough to appear in the Doctor, the Widow, in the Wardrobe, and to release yeah, I think... solo singing albums, which aren't that good. <laughs> yeah. He's probably I more gave money you... off of them than all of us in stand-up comedy. So who's the real fool? <laughs> You're watching Me. the magic of Doctor Who now. Um, we're, oh, I got to, we've done well. We've done thirty. We, we, we're thirty-six minutes in, and we've got four clips. Woo-hoo. So. Um, I think we should actually go to the next clip because I think this next master will need a lot of chatting about. Uh, oh. It's obviously it's obviously um, Joan Sims' son. Oh, 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 are we doing John Sim, Sims next? Yeah, have I missed somebody out? No, wait, wait, no, wait. no, no. Oh. Good. Go ahead. Okay, just Thank get you. on with it. Oh, he's such a. Vent. One. We kill him. We execute him. No, that's not the solution. You're my responsibility from now on. The only Time Lord left in existence. Yeah, but you can't trust him. No. The only safe place for him is the TARDIS. You mean you're just gonna keep me? Hmm. If that's what I have to do. It's time to change. Maybe I've been wandering for too long. Now I've got someone to care for. Put it down. There you go. I've got you. I've got you. Oh, it's the women. I didn't see her. Uh, dying in your arms. Happy now. You're not dying, don't be stupid. It's only a bullet. Just regenerate. No. One little bullet, come on. I guess you don't know me so well. I refuse. Regenerate. Just regenerate. Please, please, just regenerate. Come on. I'll spend the rest of my life imprisoned with you. You've got to, come on. You can't end like this. You and me, all the things we've done. Axons, remember the Axons? And the Daleks. We're the only two left. And no one else. Regenerate! How about that? I win. Lights stop, Doctor. The drumming. Will it stop?
from you the stage twat. of the Royal you Shakespeare. What? <laughs> Who? The Firstly, yeah. Russell T. Davis for creating such a scene that always makes me cry. Because that is like uh, I, 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 I'll, I'll say the good. I love him and hug him, and I'm going to call him George aspect of the whole thing. I'm just going to keep him in the TARDIS. He's <laughs> going to be my friend. It's like <laughs> going to tie you up. Yeah. You're never going to leave. So, <laughs> you so just who, ruined. Who, you just ruined thirteen years of emotion. <laughs> I'm <having laughs> that period of emotion. No, you right. had thirteen years of emotion. There's, there's, there's a lot of problems with this, but I get what you mean. It's like the whole over emotive fucking thing, and it's very sad. That is very sad to do that. I do like the I win line. I kind of like that. Mm. But back to the thing that I think he's going to end up that that is the master is actually the doctor. Do you know how the re- regeneration started to become more and more powerful as they built up to being his last regenerations? I think the sound of the drums, the noise of the doctor's heartbeats are going to get louder and louder and louder, and that's what's going to send them over the edge. That's what's going to turn them into the master. The fact that the sound, you know, the sound of the drums, the whole, the beat. But, but what about the child, the untented schism? What about it? Yeah, what about it, Tom? <laughs> All right. Because we see the master as a flashback, and he's got brown, black hair, and we know that the doctor wanted to get with his child a blonde hair. And we see that Master's a child looking for the vortex, so we know that can't have been... But you can see that the, you can regenerate into any size, age, or shape. So... Well, well, especially established, you can, sh- you can change... Are we like... addressing the elephant in the room again? Hi, Stephen. Hi, Thank Steve. Uh, and I hadn't said anything for a minute. <laughs> no, but another thing as well I like about it is they do the whole Amy thing after it, when they've got the whole, I remember it, so it happened. You remember when she kills the... One eyed pirate that she's, you oh, didn't yeah. get it all from me. She did fucking, <laughs> you're dead. Um, and then she's oh, yeah, talking yeah. to her daughter about it. She says, Well, you know, I remember that it happened. So they did that with this as well because that back shit, crazy, abused, um, Stockholm woman shoots that guy and ends, ends up a fruitcake and the whole thing as well. So the reason, like, all right, look, let's let's go back to the main to, 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 to Simmy for a second. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> the reason, like, I was just gonna say, like, the reason why this <laughs> stop it, Ian. The reason why this scene I I chose is like this is probably one of the evilest things the master has ever done to the Doctor. Like, no, just think about it, okay. Because the Doctor spent all this time being alone and he finally had this chance to not be alone in the universe. He thought all his race was dead. How and he had this opportunity. are you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. He said, he said, this is where the face titles come from. How? Lovely. No, no, no. For you to he look at what lovely. he's doing and go, you just wanted to care for him. No, you nutcase. That is not what he was doing. <laughs> he was going to imprison him in the time. He just wanted a mate. He uh, no. He, he wanted don't a don't we all? I want a mate. And you're looking at going, oh, that's romantic. You fucking. I didn't say romantic. Fucking... I did say you better romantic. better not have a basement. Stephen Moffat. <laughs> I didn't say romantic. No. I said it was. was... It was the fact that the doctor finally had a chance to like have an actual member of his species alive that he could spend time, with. and he dies in his arms because no, he wanted no, instead, the yeah, to be alive. Instead of being kept as a prisoner <laughs> for eternity, he decided, you know Please what? Please don't turn David Tennant into the new Fritzel. I'm well, not. I don't, exactly want, I don't want. I don't want. You're Doctor. watching the magic of Doctor Who. I feel I'm going to just come oh, in yeah. there. I'm going to be like a moderator here. I'm going to. I'm oh. going to actually. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say no, it looks to me. No, no, Dom. No, Dom. It seems to me, Dom. You like to, p- you seem to like to pick arguments on people. Trust me, I'm one of Dom's friends, and the arguments we've had about Clara surprise. We're still friends. Yeah. No, it's because she needs to know that I'm right. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to say the fact that he's, yeah. that he's kind of going with that. Oh, I have a purpose now. I'm going to look after it. And you're putting it uh. from the point of view that the master robbed him of that. And I'm going, no, the master didn't want to be kept as a fucking pet. 
was, like, a Tamagotchi in the TARDIS. Yeah, he was like, oh, better keep no. it alive. That's not what it was going to yeah. be like. Anyway, well, it was I, like the vault. I, it was going to be like the vault. She was going to have a piano. It was going to be lovely. Yeah, the piano is not her forte. Right, yeah. Elliot, do you want to? Do you want to? Do you want Hank? Do you want to? Do you want to come in and 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 cap any of this off for us? There's only oh, oh, oh if, oh, if oh, they'll oh, let you. The only um, the only problem. There's only one no, issue I have with this scene. I'm sorry, Elliot. Sorry, I didn't mean. The only issue I have is that the only two monsters that the Doctor tries to say to Martha to help him remember, like axons, and the Daleks. Like, they don't mention the Sea Devils. They don't mention the Autons. They choose the Axons, who are, quite frankly, overrated as hell, and the Daleks that appear for five minutes in one story and eventually murder him. That's I, not probably the best way I, to remind him of their adventures. Well, no, I, I think he brings up those monsters because those are the ones they've actually had to, like, cooperate to fight against. They actually te- he had to team up with the Master to defeat the Axons, and he had to team up with the Master at some point in the Time War, presumably. Well, he eventually teamed up to defeat the Autons... Did they? The oh. um, see, 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 Eva's right. Remember Terror of the Autons. Okay, okay. well, good. Uh, <laughs> that sorted that out then. Hey, I, <laughs> um, I really wish uh, we hadn't mentioned the... Can I say the C word before? Uh, because the C word is... Uh, no, no, I'm not. Was it no, me no, that no, that flag no. it on Facebook... It's it's no 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 no. It's because we mentioned the c word. We're going to have to go through all this again. Consider the doctor. The doctor trap. The doctor alone. You're all right there, dear. Where are we? How did we... Shh, now. Mummy's talking. Okay, I'm going to tell you a story of the doctor. It's classic. On the run, no tiredness. No friends, no help. In other words, the doctor happy. It was a long time ago. Doesn't matter which face he was wearing, they're all the doctor to me. Why are you sharpening that stick? Well, I've no idea how long we're going to be stuck out here. Might have to go hunting. So, why am I tied up? In case there's nothing to hunt. Where did he get that teleport thingy? Oh, good, good! He stole one from an android. So, I'm guessing he uses the same energy as the android weapons, right? Excellent! Not seeing your sandwiches now. Okay then. He uses the energy wave from the android weapons to recharge the teleport bracelet, and at the exact moment he's supposed to disintegrate, he actually teleports. Hang on, that's how you did it. That's how we escaped the Daleks. I modify the same principles for our vortex manipulators, yes. Why does the Doctor always survive? He's trapped at the heart of the Dalek Empire. He's a prisoner of the creatures who hate him most of the universe. Between us and him is everything the deadliest race in all of history can throw at us. We, on the other hand, have a pointy stick. I love the fact that Dalek City probably has like little apartments, like in a sitcom. They have like little Dalek sitcom stories. <laughs> 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 no one told you that we were gonna live on sterile. Sterilate. <laughs> Good. Yeah. But awful. Oh, sorry, I've lost the thing talking about story. Story. Messy, right? Uh, and one of my favourite bits is like. Why did she have a pointy stick? What she explains, if there's no food, she's going to kill and eat Clara. <laughs> that would have made no. the episode slightly better. Yeah, I picked this one spe- like because uh, it drops Clara on its head, and I thought you'd enjoy that. Yeah, 
Oh, I, 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 I'm not a fan of that clip, though. I, I, I think it's an example of Moffat's really kind of self-righteous, kind of wanking writing style. Like, oh, look at me, I'm so clever. He tries to disguise really quite simple, not even very clever things, and make it sound and look really spectacular and as clever as piece of writing ever made. And it, it just isn't. I, just, I don't know, I think it's clunkily done. And I hate Worst that story, story ever, in my um, opinion. Uh, Masturbating. I it, it genuinely like, though, that I like this kind of as the first real showing of Missy not hating the Doctor, though. Oh, so the, the, the thing about Missy, I, I, I love her so much in season 10, because like they knew what they were doing with her, because they were trying to have a sort of, kind of a mm. an arc, and she falls back at the end, but not really. But then in season 8 and 9, I have no fucking clue what was going on with her, because in the, in the, in the past finale, the Cybermen, she spends the entire episode trying to kill the Doctor, even throwing him out of a plane, and she's so and surprised. Then she an and then she, then she says, <laughs> oh no, by the way, it's army for you. We're like, what? That, that literally does not complete with anything you've done for this entire story. None of that matches up. I know no, I'll give it up. They're, they're, they're mad, but still, it's, it's, it's bad writing. I'm sorry, it's bad writing. Oh no, you're right. Oh, I, I just, can't believe you could say Moffat does despite, bad writing. Look at Sherlock Holmes. All of that, hey. Despite, oh, don't you fucking start on Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> <that night. laughs> I, will, I, will, I will drive down there and punch you in the throat. I come on, man. Come on. I've had no visitors. I've had no visitors. <laughs> Ding dong. Lap. Punch a gram. No, uh, we could go for a drink, though, afterwards. So that'd be all right. Uh, uh, we can't, can't go anywhere. No. <laughs> uh, no you you tell the rest of the world that, then. Ian, where are you going against Sherlock? I don't know. Anyway, no, no, no. He, I think we've interrupted <laughs> his flow. I, I think. Sherlock Holmes is my favourite thing, and Moffat fucking ripped it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to come. I'm going to see if. Look, 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 look. Heather. I, I think Heather, Heather's, Heather's very clever. Heather is very, clever. Heather is very, 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 very clever. And I, I agree. I love Michelle. He's very. Yeah, they, she's very, she's they're great. They're very astute. Because. Um, actress as well. She was in things like uh, Smack the Pony and all that. Yeah. Really? Really? Loved it for years. Yeah. Just yeah. great. Great coming back. Amazing. No, we, oh, there's yeah. some, some great actors been playing the master. Great. Oh, yeah. We're I, very I, lucky. I, I should see. have picked the one she killed um, the master. I should have picked that scene. Yeah. Uh, yeah that's because that is a beautiful scene. But I just love the pointy mm. stick thing. It just made me <laughs> yeah. laugh. More than anything else, it's just a bit, because the amount of Reddit readers and things that didn't get it, just that really <laughs> amused me. It was like, no, she, she's going to kill Clara with a pointy stick. You cut off one of the best bits of it as well, where um, when they're walking away. I, um, yeah, no, I thought that as well, but I was running out of time. I cut so much oh, out, and I thought yeah. pointy stick was funnier. Yeah, but when she's walking away, going, "Can I have a pointy stick?" and she's like, "Get yeah, your own." A, I, I don't really like that. And that's just no, I thought, I, I, but I, I thought I either had to get a little bit more out, and I thought pointy stick is funnier in, in, for everyone. But I agree with you. Oh, well, may, may I be allowed to, to, to bring up Eric, Eric Roberts again? Because as like I say, that um, I, I think every actor, Play the Master, has been really good actor. They're really good performances. Uh, but I, think Eric, hmm. I, think, I think I don't know what's going on with Eric Roberts because he, he he demonstrates early on in the film that he can be a very good master. Because early scenes are very intimidating. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like, the like, fingernail, really, really the fingernail, good. Fingernail, the fingernail, the fingernail. child. <laughs> oh yeah, but well, what's that? He's really threatening. He's like, you know, if you help me, you get to live. Like pat, pat. Mm -hmm. But later on, for some weird reason, the longer the film goes on, the camper and camper he gets, and it comes out of nowhere. I always dress for the occasion. Yeah, literally, he goes from like telling Chang, "You get to live, you help me," to, "Oh, you're my favorite son. You'll be all this money, and I love you. I can buy you a car and a pony." Like, where did that come from? Because it's actually not how he is at the beginning of the film. He gets, he gets weirdly camp up for no reason. And I don't. Because mm. he was a snake, you like jumping in men's throats. <laughs> Yeah, well, yeah. Do you reckon they had a lot more writers as it was a film, you, or was it? Well, I, I, it was they changed writers. It was a very troubled production. It took several yeah, one writer. Yeah. Very, very out. One and, writer. Yeah. Uh, it, 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 I mean, for all its flaws, it had some great bits. Oh, I mean, yeah, yeah, I, I, I agree. I, I think we love uh, it. The guy who wrote the Doctor Who movie was the son of the guy who played Doc Holliday in the Gunfighters. Ah, ah. I was going to say that. A lot. I, I didn't. <laughs> The only musical Didn't episode ever. That's <laughs> never winning me anything at a pub quiz. I'm going to tell you that now. Uh, I don't drink in the type of bars. I'm afraid that that would ever come up. Oh, so, oh, oh! So you're, you're drinking the Last Chance Saloon? Uh, no, no, I don't. Ooh. No, I don't drink in the OK Corral either. <laughs> well, apparently no anyway. one does because that episode was just pure bollocks. <laughs> Oh, I, I right. like it though. It is it's fun. the most historically inaccurate. Like they did it. They tried to do like a recreation of the gunfight at the OK Corral. Okay, and they made it look like a massacre. 
one person died in the actual thing. They made it look like everyone died. Yeah, You're watching the magic cool. of That's Doctor Who. Uh, can I... I'm going to stop you, I think, because we've got two more clips and six minutes left. So... <laughs> um, Elliot's cracked out the monocle. You know what he means by yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Elliot's cracked out the monocle, but I'm sure... It'll, it'll go into an urban dictionary somewhere. Uh, Dom, we're going to... Oh, uh, yes. There were some other masters we've missed. Uh, Heather was right because she said... He, they said... I really am sorry, Heather. I'm trying my best now to be, be on, on, on point and I've got it wrong. Um, there was some other masters we missed. But we, we? We, there was... Yeah, yeah I'll come we'll, back to it. But... Uh, this one was mentioned specifically. It's Dom's favourite master, I believe. Is it not? Mine is John Sim. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was. A, I thought it was the new one. This is Elliot's favourite master, I believe. Sash Dewan. What? I is love it? Sasha Dewan. Don't get me wrong. I think he's a brilliant master, but he's not my favourite. I hate the clones. I hate the clones. Clones aren't scary. Is it, oh, is it yours? Really is it yours, mental. Elliot? I'm sure one of us said that at one point. I, 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 yeah, I mean, I, I, it, ch it changes to me. I, I can't even favourite Doctor either because I, I love them all so much. But yeah, Sasha Dewan is up there. I do, I do really like his interpretation. I think he's a really good rage because he can be manic and clownish, but he also can be genuinely intimidating and serious as well if he wants to be. And I quite like that range he has. The reason why I chose this scene is because of how intimidating he is during it. Mm. I have to say, this is heavily edited again. That's my name, and that is why I chose it. <sighs> so satisfying. <sighs> Doctor, I, I did say look for the spy master. Or, or should I say spy master? He's not really old. I'm the best enemy. <laughs> Call me master. Call you what? Master. Me and her. We go way, way, way back. I met her. I know. Years ago. <laughs> but there was an old MI6. He was talking about her. Yeah. A man very close to my heart. <laughs> well, in my pocket, actually. You want to see him? It's always got to keep a backup of one's work. Tissue compressions. Classic. Wow. <laughs> I watched him on his way to work for his first day. Shrunk him, took his identity and set myself up in MI6. Surprisingly good stuff, don't you? <laughs> That's brilliant. I, 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 love, I love that. I love how completely cruel he is. I love, I love that little bit of acting. Like, like he, he goes with a bit of back in his pocket and he goes like, mm, and this throws away anyway. Like, it's Just so cool. I love that. It was so well done. I, I didn't see it coming. And it was it was the, the fact that he was like going, it's, it's even when he does the sinister, hi. Like that was just so well done. Like, I, I thought it was brilliant. I I I, I agree, but <laughs> in face, like, it seems like he does yeah, not agree. It, it looks like his standard <laughs> profile picture. It is going. Hmm. Sh shall the rat? Hmm. Find a clone intimidating. Uh, John Sims kind of scuffed with it. That's when his master started to lose any idea of intimidation. The whole and. This dude just really pushes the envelope of being the manic nutcase. I just think he loses what makes him sinister, his intelligence, his, his diabolicalness, if that's even a thing. This isn't a supervillain. 
you know, it's it's a clown that just pokes things with sticks. You know, what I mean, it's it's not it's not intimidating. I, I, I think I lost a lot making the master that type of character. It works for the doctor. The doctor is a fart in a spacesuit. He's just one of the people that just floats about, and then then when it when it matters, he becomes important. But the master's supposed to be a guy that's trying to take over the universe. And you don't get that type of person. <laughs> you, know, I mean, you know what I mean? I don't, I don't see it as nasty. I don't see it as, as being in as any way threatening. I'm just surprised you made a fart joke. It's not like you, Ian. Yeah, also, also, oh, I was like, when have you ever had a fart that's thrown about and then suddenly become important? Because you use that analogy, yeah. the exact analogy to describe it. The, I, I could, yes, I'm going to wait until my fart becomes important. <laughs> no, I mean, it, he, he floats about like a fart until he becomes important. The fact ah, that then the fart, fart goes has now become important. Yeah, but the fart so, is like, are you saying that the master's the fart has dissipated no at this point? The doctor's one that follows through. <laughs> yes, he's the he's the one that really is the shit. <laughs> if you want to go with that analogy, he can't gamble. <laughs> oh. Again, I don't oh. see it as anything but trying to be sinister through being insane and they ins psychopaths aren't scary the way that sociopaths are scary psychopaths will kill people because th they're a compulsion to kill people sociopaths will kill people because they have something to gain and sociopaths in that context especially with someone like the master is much scarier because they're killing for a reason and they're killing to get to a point but a psychopath will just get caught because they're psychopaths they're just and the, he's playing that kind of clown. And I, I thought it lost a lot that way. It's just my opinion. Again, even when he did the whole thing about killing the whole of Gallifrey and all that kind of stuff, for what? Revenge and some kind of crazy thing? That it didn't, didn't make him any more powerful. Wild. It didn't make him any... He was, the master was always a person trying to take control. Control being a massive word in the point of what the master's about. Being in control. And then to make uh, someone who was supposedly want to control everything to be out of control just seems really stupid writing just a point but hey not that far about it or anything i'm no i i'm 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 slightly leaning on ian's side because i i was not but i liked watching that bit there though and i thought he was very good in that that's bit the there. best he was on the whole thing yeah that was a great scene to put in because the was, that was all right I nearly picked the Eiffel Tower scene, but there wasn't a clip of it on YouTube. Oh, um, I, I don't know. I mean, it, it, it's, I, then we I, could I, have all had an Eiffel. I don't. I, <laughs> um, I don't. Uh, I, mean, I don't know. I don't. I don't, I don't think it's only is means just because he acts manic. And therefore, it means he hasn't got any kind of purpose or gain out of what, doing what he does. Because I think he does. Everything he does, he does it to get a reaction from the Doctor. He wants to kind of one one up the Doctor. And he is a vengeful character. A lot of his appearances have always been about trying to get revenge, and that's how he's always been beaten by the Doctor. And I think I think it makes sense that the longer their relationship has gone on, the more sort of self-aware, kind of gleeful Master would get because it is, it is become like a play at this point. It's like a recurring series. Like yes, they go for the same rigmarole, really the same well, the same play. It builds dance every every single time. And yeah, he's come to expect it. So, I mean, I think it always takes such glee and pleasure in like doing it or, or being better. That's or she's not finally what getting I'm one talking up. about. I'm talking about the the. The way he's portrayed as being the psychopath rather than the cold calculating master. Every other incarnation had a methodical idea to him. The way they portrayed this particular incarnation of the master was a bit more oddball. And I just don't think it sits with the underlying nature of him. As someone who wants to control everything, to being out of control doesn't seem to fit were the core idea of the master. That's all I'm saying. I just think that was the failing. I think the writing really let him down on that. So, but but, but it does reveal he is being there. He is being a cold, committing master because he was he was, he was like he, he was being undercover. He was being on a persona, a fake ID, and he had a whole grand plan and ahead of everything. He knew, he knew exactly what he was doing. He was calling calculating. It's only when he was discovered he started to let his inner master out. And, and, and that's why I personally like him. Because I, I think he finds him unpredictable. He's he's capable of you know being. I have the manic oddball, but also being called sinister, either or, depending on the situation. And, you know, I, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I just find that, you know, there's, there's room for both sides of the master, I think. Yeah, I just... Can I just say three words that might challenge your point? I John love you. Wayne... Fuck, oh, no. 
John Wayne Gacy. No, I know who was a completely useless serial killer. It was the ineptitude. No, it was the ineptitude. Sorry, the you, can't really, the ineptitude. you can't go to a serial killer and go, yes. I'm not trying to be no, rude, but... It was the ineptitude of, of yeah, people yeah, investigating him. It wasn't how genius he was. And this is my problem with the serial killer argument all the time, is it always comes down to how clever they were and never how fucking useless the people investigating them were. Right? Mm. And it's, that is absolutely true. It always comes down to the, 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 the fact that we didn't have forensics at the time no investigating trees. No, Gacy. Gacy was entirely because of they didn't have the right physical evidence at the time. I, I don't know how to, you going I don't know how to stop Gacy this, going, this, really. Yeah. I'll do it. planetary systems, Doctor. We could rule them all. What for? What is the point? The point is that one must rule or serve. That's a basic law of life. Why do you hesitate, Doctor? Surely it's not loyalty to the Time Lords who exiled you on one insignificant planet? You'll never understand, will you? I want to see the universe, not rule it. Then I'm very sorry, Doctor. What's happening? Wait and see. What is it? The ultimate development of life on this planet. Why have you returned? What do you want here? I want to restore this city and this planet to their former glory. Don't listen to him, sir. You have here a wonderful weapon. By with it you could bring good and peace to every world in the galaxy. On the contrary. He'll bring only death and destruction. This planet of yours could be the center of a mighty empire, the greatest of the cosmos has ever known. Tell me, sir, has this weapon of yours ever brought good to your planet? Once the weapon was built, our race began to decay. The radiation from the weapon's power source poisoned the soil of our planet. Exactly. The weapon has only brought death. And yet he wants to spread that death throughout the galaxy. Unless you destroy this weapon, sir, he will use it for evil. No! You must be mad! Why, with this we could control every galaxy in the cosmos! We could be gods! You are not fit to be a god. I sense that if you have control of this weapon, you will bring only unhappiness and destruction to the entire universe. Then die! <laughs> There is a self-destructor mechanism. You will please operate it. Not only does justice prevail on your planet, sir, but also infinite compassion. I wasn't going to play I that. I was enjoying that scene until, until I saw the testicle. Um, I, I didn't know Capaldi was in it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, let's, let's, let's see if you're watching that clip. Um, um, and my partner George has sent me a text saying that the, the, the wee testicle man looks like something that uh, David Firth would make. He's a guy who makes owl's fingers. <laughs> I like rusty spoons. Oh, yeah. Like, he like, well, he could be the next master. I thought, no, he's dead. Oh, who? No. I thought you meant Roger. No, listen. I thought that brings it. I was going to leave it out because we run out. We, we've gone over, but then I felt it would stop the argument, and we could start and go and finish on 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 the right. Original, so anyway, the John true Wayne master. Casey. Just imagine so, you going So thank you so on. much for watching the magic of Doctor Who. Uh, I'm going to say good, I'm going to I'm going to say goodbye. You three can do what you like. <laughs> thank goodbye. you so much for watching. Oh, goodbye. <laughs> And, and Heather, Heather, thank you so much for your contribution. I've really yeah, enjoyed thanks, it. Heather. We've, we've thank you, Heather. Great, right, Heather. Oh, Heather. No. Oh, but, but thanks. No, thanks. Thanks for asking. We. I don't know much about the audio things, um, really. Perhaps, perhaps oh, I should listen. Name. The name of the um on the behind you on your poster, Alex thing. McQueen. Uh, the, 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 the young Lex one. Listen, look at like, the Lex Luthor, look a motherfucker. That one. Yeah, is that Alex McQueen? Yeah, I think so. 
Yeah, um, oh, I love him. I, I, do, I listen to a lot of the Paul McGann audios, and he's like basically, he's basically Paul McGann's master in the, in the audios, and he is absolutely He's got fantastic. a good voice, hasn't he? I just and remember his cool. Neil's gay dad. He's not an idiot. Famous. He's very, very clever, and he doesn't act like a fucking clown. Right, I'm going to watch it. Say wait, goodbye wait. again. Oh, I don't know. We were going to no, say, no, say goodbye. Thanks so much. Bye. And Bye. Thank you, Heather, for your contributions. Bye.